So here we are with Chris of Local Color. We are doing some gold leafing this afternoon. And Chris, if you don't mind, let's talk a little bit about what we're doing here. Now, right now I sized all these about an hour ago on a hot day, so they're setting up fast. Okay. And now I'm applying the leaf. Put it out with my fingers. And I use this little stiff brush to push it into the corners. I see. And the little holes. So the leaf is actual gold? Yeah, it's actually, I think it's 23 and 3 quarter carat. Wow. A little expensive these days because the price of gold is way up. Right, right. So it's certainly worth it for the look. Oh, it definitely has the look. It will last quite a while. I was going to wonder about that. What's the longevity of this? Uh... Well, this will probably go for 20 years. 20 years, wow. It'll Excellent. get dirty from the, all the sit in the air and that stuff. But... Right. But no, no corrosion or no. anything like that. The only part that ever corrodes is some of the stuff down low. When you put it on rings down low and stuff, right. people come along and touch it. Ah. And the oils on their fingers eventually starts corroding it. I see. So what do we use for the sizing? It's actually called gold size. Basically a quick dry varnish. Ah. It comes clear, but I add the yellow to it because it makes me easier to see the spots that I miss. Oh, I see. And what do you use to add pigment to the sizing? Just uh, regular tint. Uh, regular paint tint. So in order for someone to do this, they would have to have the leafing, the sizing, uh -huh. and some of these small brushes uh -huh. to press the leaf into the sizing. And in this case, you even need an artist's brush to put on the, the size because the regular brushes are too big. Oh, right. Yep. How large of a section can you size before uh, before leaping? I suppose you have to get to this pretty quick before it dries out. Most times you have a couple hours. It takes about an hour to set up, sometimes longer depending on the weather. I see. And a day like this, you probably got about two hour, two and a half hours after you put it on. After you put it on. So it yeah. needs an hour to set though. Yes. If you try to do the leaf uh, immediately, it's just it a gummy mess. It's too gooey and, and the, the paper seems, tends to stick to it. I see. Alright, so we get the sizing on and then we wait an hour and then you apply your leaf. An hour to an hour and a half, depending on the weather. Alright. Now that leaf uh, doesn't have to be gold, right? It could be aluminum or uh, any, Silver, any variety of other metals. Silver, copper, and probably a few other ones. But... Very a lot cool. of them don't come with the paper on the back, which makes it really impossible, almost impossible to do outside. Ah. Because it just, as soon as you pull the paper off, it just blows away. Right. So you got to have the ones with the paper. Yeah, they call it patent leaf, I believe. Patent leaf. Now, is there a certain provider of uh, the leaf in San Francisco that... There are a few. I, I think recommend? Flax has it. Right. There's a couple more. There used to be Bay City Paints, but I think they're out of business. Okay. But my boss usually orders it, gets a better price from either, either LA or New York. I see. That sounds good. It's hard to talk with this brush in my mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this brush is actually for me to brush off the little gold pieces so I can see the spots I missed. Okay. I'm just going to come in close for a second so I can take a peek at this. Sizing is pretty impossible to get a, a perfect edge with, huh? You're going to have to come back in and cut some pretty of much little details. Pretty much. And also, the, a lot of times, the gold tends to stick to the paint itself, ah. depending on how fresh the paint is. Right. So the sizing has been on there for a couple hours now? I put it on at 9. Okay. About 11.20, so two and a half hours. Good range. Yeah, normally you get longer, but you warm day. Yeah. What's really bad is when you have to do it in the sun. Because part of it's in, part of it be in the sun, and part of it's not in the sun, and that's almost impossible. Oh right. Sometimes that's you have to go back. Sets up a different phase. What, what do you do in those cases? Now you do what you can, and you try to get it, and if it's 
And then you just go back and resize the lower part to set up your pedals. Okay. All right. So these are the packets that we're using here. And I'm cutting them in half because they're just too big and unwieldy. But I see. Unless I was doing a big square piece or something. papers in half, envelope and all. So you use the smaller brush to get into the cracks. Yeah, the stiff one. And then the, uh, oh, the larger. Oh, real, this one's real, what do you call it, flimsy. Okay, like so a little duster brush. So that's like to get the little spots that I miss. Yeah, let's get the little bits off, huh? I mean, if it's flat or something, you can do it just with your hands. Okay. I, mean, I can't get my fingers in the corners. Right, right. There we are. Looks like Chris is just finishing up the last egg. This section. Now, after the sizing and the leaf is applied, do we need to do anything as far as like a varnish or another coating? Or no, what I'm going to do a... after, well, after this is all completely dry, either this afternoon or tomorrow, I'm going to take a piece of cotton, rub it around, it'll take out the rest of the excess and push it on a little bit. Okay. And then I have to come back with a, okay. uh, in this case, the white paint and fix the little spots where it's stuck. Like for little spots. I see. It's just it's, it's fairly easy. So that's just a little recutting. Yeah. But there's no uh, necessary varnish or anything that. No. No top coat. No, it won't. It won't. It won't change color like a spray cam will. Right. That spray gold you put on, if you don't varnish it, the next day it's already turning color. Oh, I see. So now I'm going to size some for this afternoon. Let's see. So what are we using here for size? Ooh. Looks like the uh, Rolco. All right. The Rocco Classic. Now the size, is it an oil-based thing? Yes. I think it's probably going to be real close to what? Quick dry oil-based varnish. Okay. Well, it's basically just traditional painting here, but with a gummy or medium. Very gummy. Also, oh, adding tint to it gives you more time before it sets up. Oh, it does. It slows yeah. the drying process. Uh-huh. Uh, so that's key. It's a little bit thicker. Right. So you use one hand as a brace in order to get a nice clean line. A lot of times, especially when it's sort of floating there. Right. Now is there a way to remove sizing for uh, people that make mistakes? No, it's best just to let it dry after the gold's all set and everything and just paint the paint back in. Okay. Uh, you're uh, going top down with this on your, your method. That's, that's the best way? Yeah, because if you get too thick at the bottom, it, it tends to run. Oh yeah, so you'll have a drip. Yep. Go all, all the way around. Go all the way around. Too, right, so right. Now, uh, what do you use to clean the sizing off the brush when you're finished? Oh, just paint, portion? paint thinner, regular paint thinner. and, and uh, squeeze it out with your hand. And you keep doing it about three different rinses till you get all the yellow out. Okay. Uh, is it important to wear gloves for that part of the process? Yes. Yes. Yeah, those solvents will go through the skin, correct? Yes. Yeah. All right, Chris, that about does it. Thank you so much for taking a, taking a minute and showing us how to do some gold leafing. You're welcome. All right, take care.